Silent films are the foundation for modern films. Just about everything that you see in modern films, the way of cutting, type of uh, photography done, you know, moving camera, just about special effects. All of that was essentially created in the silent days. Motion pictures are the most unifying form of art. With the book, you have to be able to read in the language that's transcribed in. Also, visuals are quicker to process for the brain. And if pictures are worth a thousand words, how about 24 pictures per second? The idea that a film studio, an actual film studio, sat in this area is unfortunately too unbelievable. But guess what? It did. The man that just got shot there, well, his name was Gilbert Anderson, a.k.a. Bronco Billy co-founder of the SNA studio. It's, it's kind of funny, whenever you look at the Niles Hill side, you always see, because Fremont's surrounded by hills, you always see that Niles sign. It's almost like haunting, like ghostly, like that what if, you know, what could have been. It's very, you know, reminds me of the Hollywood sign almost. My earliest memory of the studio was this mural of Charlie Chaplin next to this sandwich shop I used to eat at as a kid. It wasn't until my mid-teenage years that I discovered that there was a museum. So, what is the Niles SNA studio? The SNA Film Company had a studio in the Niles District of Fremont from 1912 to 1916. And uh, they made over 350 films in that almost four-year period. My name is David Keane. I'm historian for the Niles SNA Silent Film Museum here in Fremont, California. SNA Studio was founded in Chicago in 1907. George Spohr was a, an exhibitor in Chicago and he had some money. Gilbert Anderson was an actor and director and writer, so they formed it with their initials S and A. What influenced Anderson to come west was looking for more sunny days and interesting scenery. My hope is that filmmakers, storytellers, you know, they come to recognize, you know, not only just silent cinema, but also this historic area where, to me, the Bay Area is one of the most influential places in the world. The Nile studio closed simply because Gilbert Anderson sold out his share of the company to George Spohr in 1916. Anderson had been stuck in making these Bronco Billy films that were quick to make and profitable for the company, but Anderson wanted to go into feature films. He saw the future going towards feature films, and Spohr, who was the money man and the president of the company, wouldn't let Anderson spend the money for feature films. After Chaplin's contract was not renewed by SNA, and he went to Mutual for more money, Anderson just decided to quit and sold out his share of the company. And that meant that the Nile studio was no longer needed. And then for the last question, this is, I haven't really touched on this one yet, and this is probably the one that everyone's wondering about the documentary. So what is Charlie Chaplin's role in the SNA film studio? Well, you, you know, Charlie Chaplin came to the SNA company in 1915. He was signed by Gilbert Anderson. That was big news because uh, he had been making $150 a week at Keystone, and SNA signed him for a one year contract at $1,250 a week and a $10,000 signing bonus. During that 1915 period when he was with SNA, you could just put a poster of Chaplin without any indication of what film it was and people would go into the theater. Uh, he was more popular than the, than the feature films that he was being shown with. He was only here in Niles for less than three months. Uh, he made one film in Chicago called His New Job at their Chicago studio. That was the first film he made for SNA. He didn't like Chicago or the Chicago studio. So he came to Niles and he was here for about a little less than three months and he made five films while he was here, including A Night Out, The Champion, and The Tramp, which uh, The Tramp is 
what he's most known for, I think. Uh, it's the first time that he walks away from the camera with his back to it, you know, uh, at the end of the film. And uh, he did that right here in Niles Canyon. It's an iconic shot. Yes, it is an iconic shot. I hope that more people come out to this area, to Niles, walk in Bronco Billy's footsteps, walk in Chaplin's footsteps, let your imagination go wild, and who knows, you might be the next great storyteller.